All right, 149 pounder for the Falcons, Ashton Primus. Ashton, coming back from, you were a, you were a Mizzou Tiger. Okay, talk about, you know, you were in one of the big time programs. They've really vaulted themselves into, you know, the top 10 uh, predominantly in the NCAA. Uh, talk about the decision to, to transfer here to an NAI school. You're a two-time Pennsylvania State champ, highly sought after recruit, uh, class of 2006. Why Notre Dame College, man? Well, uh, to go back at Missouri, I had a great two and a half years out there, uh, but uh, I was cutting down 141 my so redshirt sophomore year, and uh, I was getting a little burned out from uh, weight cutting and just wrestling in general, and just got tired of it and kind of freaked out and ended up just quitting. And uh, right now I came to Notre Dame just because I want to c come back and compete in wrestling, and it's what I love to do. I've been doing it since I was a kid, so... Okay, two-time state champ in Pennsylvania. That's kind of a big deal because, you know, most people, you ask all Pennsylvania people, and you ask me, I'll even say that Pennsylvania is the toughest state. Why, you know, you go all the way out to, out west, you know, you're going out to Missouri, you know, would, do you think it would have been a better fit maybe to stick around to begin with, you know, maybe in Pennsylvania, Ohio? Yeah, now that I think about it, uh, over if I would have came out of high school, I wish I would have gone closer to home because that was a big factor too. I was, I was homesick. I mean, there's a lot of different reasons why I left. But uh, for the most part, I wish I would have stayed closer to home. That way I'd be closer to my family, which is most important to me. So. Okay, gigantic 141 pounder. What was that cut like every week? Um, well, my true freshman year, I made it. I started for Missouri, and I, it was horrible. I mean, uh, my discipline could have been a little better, but for the most part, uh, I was doing the right things, and it was still hard cut and made it. But then uh, my, red, my second year there, I went up to 149, and I was red shirting and... I was kind of, uh, you know, I, I grew that year, and, and then my third year, I tried to cut back down for some reason. I, th I thought that I can do it, and I was pretty close to doing it. But You're kind of tall and lanky for 141, okay? Bigger than most 41s that I've seen. Uh, do you think 149 is a better natural weight for you? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, I, I just like life better than 149. I, I feel better practicing and just, yeah, I just feel sh stronger and just, what do you notice the difference between that, you know, high caliber D1 room like, you know, Missouri and this room, you know, a lot of a lot of division 1 transfers. Do you guys still get it on and scrap here? Yeah, absolutely. Uh I mean, personally, I feel like this is like a D1 team. I mean, like we have so many D1 transfers and just just I mean, a lot of these guys coming out of high school are just as talented as other D1 programs. So, I mean, that's how I look at it. Um but as far as structure and all the other things, I mean, I mean, it's a, it's a little bit different. I mean, the teams our schedule's weaker, but besides that, I mean, it's wrestling, it's competing. That's how I look at it. I mean, uh, other NAI, JUCO people, they, they beat D1 guys and D2, D3. It doesn't matter. I mean, it's just the, the quality wrestlers overall. It's just. All right, last thing, I'll let you off the hook. What's the best wrestling state for high school? Pennsylvania, New Jersey, or Ohio? It's definitely Pennsylvania, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> you got an argument for me? Um, an argument for Pennsylvania being the best? Probably if you look at all the, the number of D1 All-Americans coming out, probably Pennsylvania is the most. D1 National Champs coming out of PA, probably Pennsylvania. And just probably the stats show them themselves. So. Okay. Anything else for the people out there? Nah. <laughs> all right, Ashton. Hey, thanks for the time, man, and uh, I'll let you get out of here. All right, thanks.